I'm finna tell you right now, if we're doing a video about head, there's no way I'm doing this video without my favorite speeding glasses on. Because right after this, we'll go get on my bass boat, do me some fishing, catch some largemouth, maybe some crappies. Radar, come in radar. Radar's at lunch. Well, you'll do just fine. I need an M8 head from Moonshine, a twin cam Moonshine head, and one of them there Sportster heads. We're gonna do us a video. Coming right up. That's me. These are for my Sportster. Dual spark plugs. Polished real nice. Polished. Just like my attitude. Just like my sense of humor and my ability to read. That's right. I can read. He does this every time. He says, oh, we'll just do this video real quick. And then he goes and gets his damn haircut or some shit. He's probably at lunch. You know what? This is bullshit. I'm gonna go get lunch. Hey, there he is. Waiting for you all day. Shit. He had to go get his anthrax treatments. Camouflage sunglasses you have. Well, I was gonna go fishing because you weren't showing up. So I was like, fuck it, I'm taking the day off. You can't fish when we're building this many bikes. If we don't do it now, we'll never do it. We'll just sit here, fish, make fun of each other, build some badass bikes. But what we want to go over right now, head. heads. Okay, we do a lot of motors with stock heads, we do a lot of motors with built heads. Something that's setting us apart, besides the horsepower we make out of these big motors, is Moonshine's warranty and the builds we do. So if we do a 128, 124, all the way down to a 107, we're warrantying our builds during your factory warranty period. That way you have no lapse in coverage during the first two years before you hit that extended warranty part. Extended warranty will cover these motors. It will pay what factory parts cost. That's something a lot of customers don't understand. So when we build something with our heads, which we're about to talk about in a minute, and why our heads are so good and why you need to come see us, um, is we warranty them. So anything we do with a 525 lift or less on these big builds, we're gonna warranty for the first two years. If you buy your bike from us and we do the motor day one, you'll have two years of coverage. If you bought a bike in a different state and you have a year of warranty already expired on your factory warranty and then bring it to us, we will cover that motor from the time we build it until your factory two year expires. Um, I just wanna clear a lot of that up for a lot of guys. That's what we're doing for our customers. So M8, 128 or smaller cubic inch with a 525 or less lift cam, we got your back. You want to go crazy, we'll build it. It's your own dollar. We love it. We like you if that's you. I want to go over the reason these M8s are making so much power, and it's mostly to do with this guy. Um, the four valve head, it's not just the valves that's making all the power. This hole right here, okay, Mike's whole bass boat fits in that hole. Okay, this, this hole on a twin cam head, you're finna John boat in that hole. You're finna? Did he just say you're finna? You're fitting a John boat? You're fitting a John boat. <laughs> <laughs> You're fitting a John boat in that hole. So this is the key to the M8 power. Look at them side by side. No comparison. Whether you're doing a stock head or you're doing a ported one, these are both ported, um, professionally done. You know, our heads that we do on our motor build so they're ready to rock and roll. And look on the exhaust side too. Because what goes in must come out. You notice on the M8 head, our exhaust side is mirror finished. The mirror finish on the exhaust allows the exhaust gases to pass through without sticking to it, so no soot building up here on the exhaust port on it. The intake side, on the other hand, just a little rougher. We don't need it as smooth. You have cold air and fuel going through there. Nothing's really sticking. There's no, nothing building up over time. You want turbulence. Turbulence. That's it? It's a pretty, pretty good word. All right, so th this makes turbulence. If you look in there, we have neck down guides. You know, they're not, um, 
They haven't been hand done. We have them done already. They're all exactly the same every single time they're pressed in there. We don't have to take a stock one and, and grind them down and do them like some other guys we see doing out there on the heads. These things are nice. We do some special stuff into the combustion chamber to make it do what we need it to do. And we deck the heads depending on what size motor we're doing on the M8. So not every cam wants the same exact compression ratio. So depending on the piston and the size of the motor determines what compression ratio we want to run. Sometimes too much compression, you'll actually lose numbers. Not enough, you won't make them. Sometimes too much compression, you'll actually lose numbers. Not enough, you won't make them. Another big advantage of the four valve heads is, as you can see, the intake, single intake valve here versus two intake valves here. So the cam profiles are different. So we're gonna get more lift out of these valves, but it's going to be moving so much more air because of the surface area of both of the valves. When this one valve opens up, you're gonna get all the air flowing through this hole out of this one valve. When these bo valves both open, you have almost twice the surface area and the amount of air coming into the motor as this one. The M8s are far superior that way. To make the same kind of power in a twin cam as you can in an M8, you almost have to go so radical that you're doing this kind of stuff like what's going on my Sportster. The same valves that are going on this 110 inch Dyna are gonna be in, inside my Sportster with a custom built combustion chamber to run 12 to one compression. But it's not the most streetable thing in the world. Where this guy, you can take a stock head and make more power than you're going to out of this head ever. Yeah, that's Just the big because difference. of the design. Now, as far as wear and tear and longevity, since we have two valves here, they're smaller in size. We don't have to move them as far to get them to fully get the benefit of flow behind the valve and get the air to come around it. So on an M8 head, you will notice the cams are smaller on M8s. So if you do a real big cam on a twin cam, you see them go 650, on upwards 700s you don't see that on my mates you know no one's really gone over the 600 mark yeah you i know? mean there's a couple boutiques out cams out there but there's it's not for a street bike at that point you're just going for maximum potential well they're that large just to handle the duration that can't pass is what they're doing to offset that you have to make them that big so you can actually roll across absolutely Jamie. the cam absolutely you also don't have to have nearly the spring pressure. If you look at the spring size difference, because you're not moving the valves as far and you're moving two valves, two small valves instead of one large one, you don't have nearly as much pressure on the valve train itself. So you don't have the lifter failures, you don't have a lot of the, the uh, cam compartment issues that you had in the earlier models because you just don't have the amount of pressure. So for longevity, less wear and tear on the valve, less wear and tear on all the moving components. That includes lifters, cams, everything because of the way this is built. Everything's a little smaller and it's not moving as far. Therefore, we're getting better reliability out of them, better wear. And wear and tear on the road. Wear and tear on the road. So if you are having your motor built by us and we're going with a pair of our ported heads, we're gonna design them for every single motor. So if you're bringing right. your bike to us from a different state, we're gonna design the heads to work best with the motor combination you set up. Whether it's a high compression 114, you wanna be a big boy and do a 128, we're gonna set the head right for your motor. Yeah. What he said. What he said. You know, that was very interrogative, Jamie. I'm just here for Mike. Another reason to come to Moonshine, we are avid bass fishermen. You can tell from my shades. Bass fishing, motherfucker, bass fishing. I've never seen Mike touch a fish, hold a fish, catch even, a fish. I don't even like he, fish. <laughs> he can't eat meat. You can fish for meat, right? I can't. Fish for yeah. meat? Yeah. So what are, you, what are you doing out there? What are you fishing for? I don't really fish. I drive the boat, obviously. Mike goes out there for one reason. Men and beer. That's it. That's two reasons. They're both. I thought it was just men, but now I had to add beer, so it's two reasons. <laughs> Neither one are incorrect, but that's two reasons. I like men. This guy. I don't think we need to stand here anymore. I'm done. All right, me too.